So Laura, uh, Laura K actually put out a new piece this evening uh, at Normal Island News. <laughs> uh, where is it here? This one. Is this the one? Uh, yes. Might as well read this one. Genocidal state that bombed embassy is victim of unprovoked attack. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Israel, which is, of course, the world's most innocent country, fell victim to a horrific attack from Iran with zero reported ground casualties on the same day Israel killed dozens of civilians in Gaza. I love her framing. Yep. Israel had been minding its own business, quietly bombing hospitals, schools, universities, mosques, and an embassy when the Iranian regime launched their outrageous attack for no apparent reason. Thankfully, the U.S. and U.K. scrambled jets to defend Israeli airspace because it's wrong to bomb countries in the Middle East unless your name is Israel. In which case, you can do all the bombing you want. Every British and American ship, every British and American ship in the region is now in grave danger, and the risk of terror attacks on our soil is surely increased. But you'll be relieved, be relieved to know our countries have not benefited in any way from our intervention. Personally, I can't think of a better way for Israel to spend our tax money. Steve Grumbine would scream about that, but that's another story for another day. Mm, our Grumbine leaders. Man. Mm. Solomon Grumbine. Our leaders mm -hmm. have condemned Iran in the strongest possible terms, which is confusing because I thought we were supposed to remain ambiguous and say we're investigating the matter when such an attack occurs. Perhaps this is one of those rules that only applies to Israel, though. <laughs> yep. When informed of the attack, a calm and rational Suella Braverman screamed, War! I want war! War! I want war! When she'd stopped hyperventilating, yep. she added, This must be the end of Western backsliding on Israel because she thinks we haven't been sufficiently she thinks we haven't been sufficiently supportive of their genocide. Anyone who is not on the same mm -hmm. side of the argument as Suella Braverman must ask serious questions about themselves. Iran's unprovoked attack involved giving Israel adequate warning and launching 30-year-old missiles, 99% of which were intercepted, then saying the matter is closed until Israel escalates further. The fact that Iran would consider... it still hit key targets. Well, you know... Well, military, Whatever. military target. The fact that Iran would consider retaliating to further escalation from Israel shows just how extreme those lunatics are. Those among, lunatics. among Iran's targets was the Israeli airbase from which the missiles that struck its embassy were launched, killing 13 on April 1st. Yep. As of yet, we have no indication as to why Iran carried out the attack. But we're going to tell you it's because they want to start World War III. Psychos. Conspiracy theorists have suggested it's actually Benjamin Netanyahu who wants escalation, but it's unclear why the man who faces political oblivion and possibly jail would be incentivized to draw his allies into the fight and cause everyone to forget his many war crimes. Israel, the country yep. that definitely does not want war has vowed unprecedented response against Iran, which will probably kill more than many, more than zero people. If Iran expresses disapproval at, his, at, his, at Israel's next mass murder, it's because they're trying to destabilize the region. At this point, we'll have no choice but to help Israel do to Iran what we've spent six months helping them do to Gaza, launch precision strikes that destroy 70% of the buildings in the country and leave survivors living in tents. Worryingly, and this is why I brought this up, we've just discovered at the most convenient moment that Iran has enough uranium to build 12 nuclear bombs. Allegedly. Mm -hmm. If it were true that Iran had that so Israel much... Has, has them either, but, you know, whatever. If it were true that Israel, mm -hmm. that Iran, I'm sorry, that Iran had so much weapon-grade uranium, it would be incredibly stupid to attack them, but... We're going to insist that we must attack them because we're weapons-grade idiots, and we think you are too. Please just switch off your brain and accept what you're being told, you simpletons. What matters is rich people can afford nuclear bunkers if this all goes horribly wrong. And in the meantime, you can look forward to lots of exciting stories in the media about bringing back conscription and describing how you're likely to die in humanity's final war. 
Are you looking forward to radiation sickness and nuclear winter? Because they sound like brilliant fun. And for uh, more radiation, and for right more, away, you know, be all right. For more radiation fun, check out the yeah. Geiger Age on jessejet.bandcamp.com. That's a rockabilly star story Whoa. about what happened right after nuclear war. I love Laura Kay. A couple of impacts. You know, some of you might have become ghouls. It's been great. He, live forever. He's as good as, as, good be a little as they stinky, get. But... Among, among the best of us. Thank you.